Planet Earth's breeding regulation approves only those with a breeding licence to bear children. Should your child or children one day desire to have a family, the information in this book will ensure they understand and accept the reasons why they may be denied the permission to procreate. In such circumstances, they shall concentrate their efforts on other beneficial contributions to the world. By law, this book must be read to your child or children every night from age 5 until their competency test at age 13. For the future of our planet. Today we'll be reading The Grand Scheme of Things. Story by Johnny B. Illustrations by J.K. Doodles. The world we live in has come to be the way it is so we can be free. What you do in your home and learn in our schools will ensure our freedom, so just follow the rules. This planet had too many people to house and to feed. As Earth is only so big, we kept what we need. You'll see there's no queue in parks for the swings. Here is the story why, the grand scheme of things. It was years ago when the virus had many killed. It took many moons to fight and even more to rebuild. The survivors never wanted it to happen again and brought together the world for safety of women and men. That's why we wash our hands with plenty of soap and water, so we don't pass on germs and create a new slaughter. From the ground to the stars, it is to life that we cling. You see, this is the purpose of the grand scheme of things. When the virus became murderous, laws forced us to stay inside. A news crew found Dr Murphy, who thought the rules were just a guide. They asked him his thoughts, not expecting the absurd. Let the virus kill the weak, so we can thin the herd. There's too many people. Reduce growth is the solution. If we want to save planet Earth from the human pollution. What he said was harsh, but much truth did it ring. And this here began the grand scheme of things. Dr Murphy's theories grew rapidly to ascension gaining media, public and government's attention. The things he explained about the world needing to change made many believe the scheme wasn't so strange. His idea was to breed only smart and healthy people. Then everyone in the world will be completely equal. With all humans in unity and the peace that brings, then we all can live with the grand scheme of things. So quickly the achievements grew of this one simple man. Little would he have known his part in the grand plan. His idea in place brought all governments together to live as one world, to save humanity forever. And so the new order began, one world now united. A peace established with rules we were guided. This made everyone equal from our servants to our kings. Even a simple man can inspire a grand scheme of things. The law is in place, named after Dr Murphy, and you'll be tested at 13 to find out if you're worthy. If by chance you fail and need to be sterilised, no matter, that's that, humanity is not compromised. That is why we exercise and pay attention in school. Being alive is great, but having a family is cool. Failing the test doesn't mean you cannot work or cannot sing. Those names still play a part in the grand scheme of things. How wonderful our world is with no more crime or disease. All nations working together, from the Muslims to the Chinese. We embrace Murphy's law that rebuilt our system. Our future is bright and we all have our freedom. Want a family of your own? We sure hope that you do. With a license to breed, you can have up to two. Own you is the bird and you are its wings. We all work together for the grand scheme of things.